Want help to grow your business? Download Bryn, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Bryn.ai or search the App Store today. Hi, I'm Josh Collins. And I'm Carolyn Birchall. Welcome to Conference Hacks. This is the show where we uncover everything you need to know to maximize your investment in any conference you attend and the art of hacking a conference. In this episode, we're going to cover the seven essential strategies for your conference follow-up. So, Carolyn, what's the first point? I think the first thing is because this here we're now talking about after the conference, right, so you're back exactly. home. And I think the first thing is you, you'll have a follow-up plan, which you should have done before you went to the conference, but this is when you yep. come back and you can start implementing that And you're, that you're really tired at this point. You are exhausted <laughs> yes. and it's where you definitely need to be relying on your team, hopefully with of your follow-up. Um, hopefully you've also organised if you're a solopreneur or there's only one or two of you in the company, mm -hmm. you might want to get a VA in for a couple of days to help you with your follow-up. Yep. But you definitely want to have that plan where you've got other team members or mm. other people helping you to execute. And... The reason why you need that is because you're going to have contacts that you need to follow up on. Yep. And I think the most important thing when you're following up with your contacts is really being specific. Mm. Because I've received so many emails where it's not specific. Mm. So, for example, in our space, there's a lot of outsourcing happens, whether it's outsourcing of your marketing or outsourcing of your development, your technology and, and that type of thing. And I will get so many emails that are the same yeah. saying, oh, you need to outsource and we've got this, these type of developers or this and that. And they haven't remembered the conversation yes. where I said, actually, I already outsource. Yes. It would be better if the email that I got was to say, now, I know you've already outsourcing, but if you want to venture and have other people or you want to test us in comparison, yeah. then it means to me that they've listened and yes. then it's very likely then I'm going to respond or at least keep their details yeah. on it's file really if important. I didn't. Yeah, yeah, really important. Those follow-up emails are personalised and to the point of even saying, I hope you enjoyed XYZ conference. Yes. And then starting off in that, that, that kind of pick-up point of, hey, I noticed you're outsourcing you know, need some help here yes. or here or here. You know, wherever those major points are, those conversations have, have been had. And even to help you personalise, say you might not remember, and that's quite legit. Mm. You, you have your notes, but you can't quite picture the person yeah. in your head. Well, go look them up on LinkedIn. Yeah, so easy to do. And, and check, and that will jog your memory. And then you might see something on LinkedIn that you go, oh, wow, we've actually got that in common as well. Yeah. So then you can add that to your personalised uh, email. Yeah. And... Yeah, I was going to say, you know, the more specific you are, the better in my mind. Yes. Um, in that if you can, you know, even tailor it down to go onto that person's medium and see, you know, if they've written a blog about the conference since. Just yes. something, a personal touch like that, you know, you can pick up on, oh, I read your blog about the conference. It was you know, amazing yes. or, or, or something along those lines. Yeah, I think it's important. And another thing when you're doing your follow-up, there'll be some people that you've already arranged at the conference that you want to have meetings with. For sure, yeah. And you need to book those meetings in straight yeah. away. And to avoid uh, email tag or, f or phone tag, a really easy thing that I do is we have a standard email that goes out mm. that we personalise. So it's standard in the sense that we use Calendly as a way for people yeah. to book in that meeting. Such a good tool. So it's got the, the, the link there that they can book in. But then we personalise the the top to say, you know, we agreed to have this meeting, this is what we wanted to talk yeah. about, I'm not sure exactly when you're going to get back into town, but here's my link below, mm -hmm. book in at a time that's convenient for you. Yeah. And I then have my EA look out for those meeting requests to make sure that they hit the diary because if after a week or two weeks they haven't come in, then you can always follow up with Do a phone a reminder. call. And those things too, you know, the, the last thing you want to be doing is getting those into to inboxes you know, three weeks after the conference. It's got to be current. It's got to be within a week of, of meeting that person. Absolutely. Otherwise, it really, you lose the connection. The person's, you know, gone to maybe another conference since then and, you know, you just, you forget. And particularly if you're a supplier or a vendor. Exactly, yeah. Chances are they've been shopping around yeah. for others and so someone else may have got in quickly and yeah. you could have missed the boat. For sure. Just because you didn't follow up properly. Yeah. So, yeah. and on our follow-up, 
To continue enjoying this presentation, download Bryn, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Bryn.ai or search the App Store today.